Welcome to Real Shanghai Mathematics Practice Book 3.1 and we're now into the second unit which is called Unit 2. Uh, this is called Multiplying by a One Digit Number and consists of five parts. Again, as mentioned before, you will need to purchase the book in order to do the exercises and they are fairly inexpensive, around five pounds per book, including delivery. Um, usually, um, and you've got the Cardin's website to go and get it from, or Amazon or eBay, and uh, perhaps other places as, as well. Um, sometimes you can get them cheaper with second hand books. Um, so, the first one is called, as I say, um, yeah, the first topic is multiplying by multiples of 10 and 100. And so, they're just getting you familiar with um, how to do this. So, we know 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 30 is going to be 6 and then you add a 0 because this is the same as 2 times 3 times 10 uh, because 30 consists of 3 times 10 so you just add a 0 so this will be uh, 6 this will be 60 there's one zero there there's two zeros there so it'll be 600 and 20 times 3 the same thing here 3 times 2 is 6 and the 0 here so the 60 so where the 0 is either this side or that side makes no difference and if then the both side we can just put the same amount of zeros there but that may become later on um, and so question one, let's do one of the more 90 times 8, so that's 9 times 8, you need to know these times tables is 72 and then because it's 90 times 8, we've got an extra 0, we add a 0. We add a 0 because it's 9 times 10, okay? Uh, times by 10, as we said before, is just adding a 0, so we just add a 0 for the times by 10. And then we got question two, calculation, um, again, should be straightforward. You may have to do it one step at a time. Let's choose one where it has combination of things. 500 take away 7 times 70 again 7 times 70 is done first so 7 times 7 is 49 add a 0 490 and then 500 take away 490 which is going to be 10 and then question 3 write greater than or smaller than so you may have to work it out um yeah i think most of them you have to work it out otherwise it's confusing although 9 times 50 and 90 times 50 is the same um and if you can just see that that's great then you can write equals without even working it out because we said before the order that you do the times table is not important you can do it either way Question four, A, uh, there are five packs of printing paper in each box. There are 500 sheets. How many sheets? So five times 500, 300 cards, um, parking space, number of parking space for vehicles is nine times the numbers are nine times 300. Um, 200, they have 420 feet. Is this enough? So a moped has uh, two wheels and each one is so 200 times two, which you work it out, and they have 420 wheels. So is it enough? And the level B, the space the ship takes um, 90 minutes to orbit the Earth, circling it once, can it make the three orbits of Earth in four hours? So you need to work out how many minutes are there in four hours. Um, so four hours is four times 60, that's 240 minutes. And then you, uh, can it make three orbits of three times 90 will be how much? 270. And then you work out whether four times 60 is, um, uh, which one's greater, and then that can help you work it out. As I said, it will be a slightly tricky, although that is fairly straightforward. And then moving on to the next part, which is called writing number sentences. Uh, so these are things that have been done before, uh, but just converting the information. So again, time seeing it should be straightforward. Question one in page 14, let's do one of them, which is 20 times 5 times 9. Um, so there's different ways of doing it. You can do it in any order that you like, but the easiest one is probably taken into 100. So do the 20 times 5, which is 100, then 100 times 9. And the question two is about drawing lines and matching. So Emma family bought three boxes of peaches. How much do they each cost? Uh, okay, and they got all the information that you need on the other side. There are four, there are 36 peaches in each box, and each box of peach cost uh, 58 pence. So write the number sentences uh, A, B, C, D. Okay, so each one. So one, I guess, well, I guess one is A. So uh, three times, three times, um, how many How many in each box? Three boxes of peaches. They're 36. So three times 36. And then times each box of peach cost 58 pence. Fine. Okay, no, so we don't need that. So we need to cost. So it's going to be three times 58. Uh, how much do number two how much do five packets of rice cost so uh, 88 times five uh, how many bags of biscuits are there in 25 packets so that's 25 times four and dylan bought um okay you can do the last one yourselves question three uh 
Read question carefully. Work out the answer. There are four bags of biscuits in each packet. How many bags of biscuits are there in 20 packets altogether? So four bags in each biscuit, four bags of biscuits in each packet. There are 20 packets. So it's 20 times four. Um, Poppy's family bought five boxes of kiwi fruits. There are 30 kiwi fruits in each box. In each box, and in each box, and in each there are 30 kiwi fruits in each box. Okay, how many? Kiwi fruits did they buy in all? So if five times thirty, uh, shopkeeper sold four thousand pound worth of stock each month in half a year, and purchased nine thousand. How much profit did she make? Sold four thousand and purchased stock this time round. So how much profit did she make? Let's understand this one. Question six. Oh, each month in half. A year okay so 4,000 times by each one so 4,000 times by 6 will be the uh, two, um, 24,000 and then take away 9,000 okay why because profit is how much money you've made take away your cost so that's what profit refers to and then level B um, school disco bought 50 boxes of chocolate biscuits each bus cost six pounds think about it how much did Alex's mother actually pay? So Alex's mother bought 50 boxes a chocolate, uh, of biscuit chocolates. Each box costs £6. And the promotion says if you spend over this month, if you spend over this much, you get um, this, this much discount. Um, okay, so 50 times 6, which is going to be 300. Um, okay, so 50 times uh, 6 is 300 spent over. So they spent over not equals. So it's a strange question, really. I'm assuming that you have to take away £20, although he didn't actually spend over £300. He spent spent three. So spent actually £300. So maybe let's take away 20 Again, the important thing is doing the question, um, getting your head around that. But check the answers. As I say, so it says spent over, but here it's going to be equal to 300 So maybe they made a mistake in the writing. Um, B. Alex, 70 grades of milk, uh, each cost 9, so 9 times 7 is 63, so 630. How much discount can his father get at most? Um, how much Alex will actually pay? So again, this is a strange question, I don't really like this. You could argue that it's, you get two, um, uh, well, I guess they're saying at most, so probably 20 and 50 gets a 70 pound discount. Um, question 3, uh, I'm sorry, so, um, part three which is called multiplying a two digit number by a one digit number and they're showing you the steps that this can be done in um so first one's been done the second one should we go to the last one okay let's go for the uh, last one so seven times 35 the way to do that is going to the bottom bit is by using seven times 30 first that's going to be seven times three which is 21 and then add a zero to 210 and then seven times five is 35 so it's 210 plus 35 and that will give you two or four or five, I assume, and then they answer like that. And then you've got questions below, question two, and you do those in a similar way. 3A model club takes 35 minutes to make a ship. How long will it take to make five model ships? So it's five times 35. Each box costs them five. How much do six boxes of yogurt cost? So 705 times by six. Or, um, and the way to do that it could be uh, or seven seven times six is going to give you your 42 pound and then five times six is your money so that's going to be a uh, penny sorry so that's 30 so it'd be 42 pound 30 or you could do 705 times six which would be 700 times six um and then add the five um so yeah seven times six is 42 i'm not sure if i said 40, 35 there so it should be 420 plus um 30 so it should be 42 pound 30. um question one in level b there are nine rows of apple trees and nine rows of plum trees in the orchard. There are 36 trees in each row. How many trees are there in the orchard altogether? So there are different ways of doing it. You could do 9 times 36 plus 9 times 36. So you could do 9 plus 9, which is 18, and then times that by 36. Um, so I think we're, we're encouraged to do one at a time. So do 36 times 9 and then plus uh, and then times that by 2 um, because there's the, the two rows of identical ones and then 59 times 7 uh, calculate in a different way uh, I mean, as I said do, do it in a way that you're comfortable with so I'll just go 
50 times 7, that's probably the best way to do it. A uh, different way, I guess you could do 9 times 7 first and then plus the 50 times 7. Um, but fine. Question 1 um, on page 18. Fill in the missing numbers. Um, so, okay, so if you've got an 8 there and you've got 208 there. Um, okay, so how did we get the 8? So they're saying that you should write 4 times 2 there and the bottom will be 50 times 4. Uh, use color methods to solve the other problems. So that's how you can do the color method. So this is getting you introduced to the following. So shall we just do a quick one here? Um, let's do... So we're going to do 41 times 6. So 41 is the color method might take a little while to get used to it because um, before this we were doing adding and taking now we're doing times the important thing is to stick to your ones and tens so six times one is six so we can write in the ones here then we move on to six times four it's in the tens column so we stick to the tens columns here six times four is 24 so we can write 24 here and that's your answer and I'm moving on to the questions. Question three, when you calculate 62 times four, the product of six is in the tens place. The product of the six in the tens place, tens place times four is, okay, so 10 times, so it's confusing, basically saying it's the 60 times four, so it's gonna be six, uh, it's gonna be 240. When you calculate eight times four, something, the product is the product in the ones place is eight. Therefore, the digit in the maybe okay. Really confused language here. Uh, when they calculate the product in the ones place is eight. Okay, so they're saying in the ones place is eight. So eighty something. So it's going to have to be eighty-two. Okay, because two times four is eight. Therefore, the digit in the square may be uh, a uh, a two. Okay, it could be a 2. Are there any other ones in the 4 times table at the ending of 8? Um, so, uh, so it's going to be what? Um, anything else? It's going to be uh, 7. It could have been a 7 because in 7 times 4 is also 28. So there's a few options that could have been there. This question is a bit confusing. Don't get too too wrapped up if it's confusing. The product of a number times 3 is a 3-digit number. The smallest number that it can be is which one? So... Uh, okay, so 33 times 3 is going to be uh, 99, so it's going to have to be more than that, so it's going to be 43. Okay, the smallest can be a 4 there in that box. And when you multiply two digit numbers by one digit number, the product may be a, a, a uh, the product may be a two digit, two digit number or a three digit number, okay? And again, uh, we, well, they, you could argue, what about zero? So zero does mess up a lot of things, okay? But so I'm assuming they are including zero in that. And uh, question four. Read the question carefully and work out the answer. The leopard has a mass of 72 kilograms and the mass of tigers four times of that leopard. So it's only four times 72. So you need to work that out. And B, how many biscuits are there altogether? So they've got 32, 32, 32, 32. So 32 times four. Uh, are there enough biscuits to share among 21 people so that each pupil gets five biscuits? So 21 times five, you need to work that out. And then we can work out which one's bigger. And then you can answer that. And question two, um, organize a party or a local nursery home. Uh, they raised some money, uh, they bought three boxes of cakes and paid for the singer with the money. We know that each box of cakes cost £23. How much did the singer cost? They bought three okay. and paid for the singer with this money. We know that each box of cakes cost £23. So 23 times 3, uh, we've worked that out and paid. Okay. How much does a singer cost? So you have to do step by step. Okay, so first of all, you need to work out how much the top one is. So 50 times 1, 20 times 5, which is 100, 150, 170, 170 plus 30, and then 18. So uh, you have to work out from the denominations the total amount of money, and then you can do subtract that from 23 times 3, and then you should get the answer in terms of how much it costs for the pupil. And then moving on to page 20. Calculate mentally and then write the answer. So you should be able to do this in the head. So 12 times 3 is going to be 10 times 3 
plus 2 times 3, so that's 30 plus two, uh, 6, 36, and then 21 times 5. Okay, let's do a bit harder one. Okay, that's a column. Method. So we could do 6 times 41. So that would be 40 times 6, which is 240, then plus 6. And then you could use column methods for the other methods. And we've done the column method already. Um, again, use the higher number, so 17 times 4. And then we do 4 times 7 first, and you get 28. Actually, it might be worth doing this one. Uh, because it has a carryover, which I don't think I've gone through with you guys. So this one is going to be... Okay, so we'll do a 17 times 4. Yeah, so 17 times 4. I will do it all in one row. I think that's the best way to do it. So it's 4 times 7 is 28. So we put the 8 in here because 28, 2 goes in the 10th. And then 4 times 1 is 4. And then plus 2 here, 68. Okay, because there's one digit here, we're only going to stick to one row. And I think that's the best way uh, to do that. Right, um, so that's how to do that one. Then question 3a. The clocks show the times when Dylan leaves home and arrives at school. Father's journey to work takes four times as long as Dylan's journey. So you need to work out Dylan's journey first. So he leaves home. Okay, so fine. So Dylan takes, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, and then uh, father's journey is four times 15 minutes, which is going to be four times 15, which is 60 minutes, so you can say an hour. Uh, uh, B, 3B, there are prices, good shops, how much do 24 cards cost, or should you do 24 times 2? Um, so I'm going to skip some of these. If you have 130, could you buy 33 notebooks? So 33 times 4, work that out, 130. Uh, uh, was 130 enough for that or not? And then you can say yes or no to that. And then level B, 30 pupils from each class 1 and class 2 in year 3 take part in a basketball competition. All the pupils in class 1 and 29 pupils in class 2 took their turn. At scoring a basket, each pupil scored three baskets. If the last pupil in the class four scores four baskets, the total points for class two will be higher than the total class three. How many baskets have been scored by each class? What is the difference between class one and class two? So very wordy and very long and probably a little bit difficult. So if you want to try that, do try that. But if you're stuck on that, I wouldn't worry about it. I'd say B, A's are the better ones and the B are for extra uh, and if you can do B's, to be honest with you, you're doing really well, um, especially if there's a minimum help that you need for that. And then page 22, level A, first two numbers between which you, between which you estimate the product to be, then use the color method to work out the answer. Okay, so the way, right, so this is estimation. So you know that the answer is going to, 5 times 78 is going to have to be between 5 times 70 and 5 times 80 because 78 is between the two. So you know the answer is going to be between those two and that 5 times 70 is going to be 35 plus 0 at the end, 350, 5 times 80 is going to be 40 plus 0, 400. And so the, that, that's going to be the answer. And then you can use, as you say, the uh, color method to work out um, the answer in terms of... The, uh, okay. Right, yeah, then you can use the color method to work out the answer. So the other one, 82 times 6, would be the same uh, estimate to be 80 times 6 and 90 times 6. And the answer product is in between those two answers. And then by column method, you can work it out. And this is probably the best way to do these. So, um, okay. So the best way to do these questions are different ways because we've done some of the different ways. But the best way to do these is let's, let's pick um, question 2 as an example. Um, 16, 16 times 6. So the best way to do this, particularly when we're going to get into more complicated multiplication, is probably this way in terms of column method. Do this way. So we do 6 times 6 is 36. 36. And so we've got 3 tenths. Okay. Then we don't we don't don't go to the bottom because there's only one digit here. We'll try and do everything in the same row. So 6 times 6 is 36. Now we move on to the tens and automatically going to write the answer here because we're in the tens. So 6 times 1 is 6, so that'll be here. 
and then we got 3 here, so that'll be 96. Okay, and that, as I say, is just very small, so you don't need to see that. Uh, you can get rid of that, so it doesn't get you confusing. And that will be the answer. And that's the best way to do these questions. Um, so for that one, you can see that it was incorrect, and then you've got a uh, right one afterwards. I should do another one. 75 times 8, so 75 times 8. And again, it's about practice. So again, there's only single digit here, so we're going to stick to everything done in one row. There's only a one digit here, 8. So 8 times 5, we only start with the 1, so 8 times 5 is 40. Because it's in the 1s, we, we can only put the 0 here, because that's part of the 1s. The 40, the 4 belongs to the 10, so we can put 4 here, because it belongs to the 10. Then 8 times 7 is 56, and then 56 plus 4 is 58. Okay, um, and then moving on to the other questions. Question four, um, which one shall we do? Four, four C. Alex reads the comic book. He reads sixteen pages every day. There are seven pages left after he has been reading for eight days. How many pages has Alex read in eight days? So in eight days it would be eight times sixteen. How many pages are in the comic book total? So be whatever the answer was, then plus seven because there's still seven pages left. And then B would be pupils year three go on an autumn school trip each bus can carry 45 people four of the buses are full but there are 17 empty books how many people are they all together in the school trip so this is a reasonable question so we can do this one um so 45 45 uh, four buses so 45 times four whatever the answer is and then the 17 empty seats on the buses how many people all together went in the school trip so 45 times four the 17 so they're less than that so then whatever the answer is take away 17 and that should be answer write the missing numbers for question uh two so shall we just do this one it might be interesting okay so let's go back to here and shall we raise that okay i'll leave that there so you can see as well but for this one um which one shall we do let's do the first one so you got five this is question two we don't know what's in here so this is a box and we've got a six here and we've got Six at the bottom, three, and we don't know what the one's here. Okay, so there's a way to get six at the bottom. The only way to get six at the bottom, have a one here, one times six is six, or the other one is six times six is 36. So it could be either one. Okay, so it could be either one. So if you go with one times six, that's six here. Six times five is 30, then there's no way we can get a three at the end here because 30 would mean there's a zero here. And the three would go over here okay so i repeat six times one won't work because six times one is six but there's nothing then to carry over and then six times five is 30 so zero would have to go there therefore this one has to be a six six times six is 36 then there's a little three that we have because 36 and then six times five is 30 30 plus three is 33 so that's 33 okay and that's how you do that and then the next one eight times seven um, is 56 again a little bit harder because these are are um, uh, here so 8 times 7 is 56 so you've already got 5 at the bottom to carry over okay and we can, how, how are we going to get 0 at the bottom the only way to get 0 at the bottom is by having uh, some, uh, by having 5 answer is 5 and then a 5 uh, in the ones and then we can have a another 5 to get to 0 so that'll be 7 times 5 35 35, 35 plus the 5, which came from the 56, that would be 40, so it would be 4, 0, 6, and the top one will have to be a 3. And then moving on to the fourth one, should I erase this? Let's erase this. Fourth one. Okay, fourth one, where are we? The fourth one. Multiplying three digits by one digit number. So uh, next step really so you can question one. How do we do that? So we do one step at a time. So six times 600 times three is 1800 and then plus two ten plus um, I three is a 24 and then you do that and then you get the total That's the answer there and you do the same for the next one and then a similar process for question two um, question three right false or correct um, so 912 times four equals that much and that's clearly wrong because the 900 
and 12 is going to be 900 times 4 and 10 times uh, uh, 10 times 4 and 2 times 4 not just 9 times 12 so and b is 100 times 5 and 2 times 5 so that looks about right and the question 4 read the question carefully and write the answer out the answer Dylan went on a trip to museum in Paris parents each ticket cost 185 pound how much did they spend all together the Dylan went on a trip each ticket cost 185 pound how much spent all together so who went on the trip let's see with his parents so that would be three people uh, each ticket 185 times three and the level b is something that you can try if you want to do and then moving on to page 27 uh, write the missing numbers um so again okay, different ways of doing it but the way i now prefer to do it and i think it's the best way to do it um so for that one you can see how they've done it three th so three times seven is 21 so that's seven times three then five times three is um uh, 50 times 350 and then 400 times 3 and then they added those together to do that way but the best way to do it particularly later on because it'll get confusing and i don't see why you can't just go straight to this um which one shall we do okay we'll do 2d which is 264 times by 4 okay times by 4 and we'll do it all in one row because because this is a single digit, so we don't have to go all the way there. So we just do one, yeah. Four times four is 16. Six here. And the one here, okay, because 16, we can only put the ones here. Four times six is 24. 24 plus one is 25. So the five goes here, and the two is here. And then four times two is eight, and then plus two, that's 10. And that's your answer. So that's the way to do it, and you might need to just come back to this and do it again and again if you're not too sure, but with plenty of practice, so it should be fairly straightforward. Um, shall we do another one? Okay, shall we do another one? Okay, let's do 200, uh, question 4, one, which is 204 times 5. Let's do 204 times 5. Okay, that's A4. Oh, it doesn't look like it. 204 times by 5. So 5 times 4 is 20. So the 0 goes here. And the 2 is... Let's draw it on. Sorry. 2 is here. 5 times 0 is 0. So 0 plus 2 is 2. That thing carried over because you just got 2. And then 5 times 2 is 10. Again, a child will need to have a lot of practice with these, which hopefully gets a 1,020. And then moving on to the next one, five, question five. Um, product of six times seven or five has how many zeros? So you need to work out the answer, and then you can work out how many zeros there will be there. Um, one, nine, three times two plus one, nine, three is the same as, it's going to be the same as one, nine, three times three, okay? Um, because 2 plus 1, remember 193 is the same as 193 times 1. And if you don't get that, it's not a problem. You can do it from the answer. Look at these number sentences without calculating the one with the greatest product. Again, the greatest product, larger the numbers. Both numbers are larger, like 9 or 8 times 5, then that's going to be obviously larger. And 8 or 9 times 5 is going to be larger than 8 or 9 times 4. And then question 6. Um, shall we go to 6D? One morning, three parties of people visited the museum with 207 how many people in each party? Four, nine, six, nine visited the museum in the afternoon. How many people visited in the morning? So in the morning will be 207 times by three. And uh, how many people visit on this day? So that'll be that answer plus four, six, nine. And the level B is just getting you to see a pattern. So two times 99 will be same as two times 100. Take away the two. Okay, so that'll be 100. So two times 99. Same as that's the same as two times a hundred take away two because ninety nine remember ninety nine is the same as um, so this again as I said these are a bit harder but ninety remember ninety nine is the same as um, ninety nine is equal to hundred take away one and that's hundred is much easier to do times table four so we can. And we can do the same for all of them. But let's take the hardest one, well, the last one, which is that. Uh, and the other one is a 1,000 take away one. So, so we do the hardest one. Okay, let's do that. So 8 times 99 
let's do the hardest one. Eight times nine, nine, nine. Okay, that's going to be the same as eight times. 1,000 and take away an 8. Take away 8 times 1. Okay, Let's add the 8 times 1. Why? Because 1,000, because this is the same, remember we did this before, this is the same as, this is the same as, because both of them are 8, the same as 8 times 1,000, take away 1, which is 99. Okay? Right, so they're just showing you the same. So we can just work this one out. 8,000 take away 8. 8,000 take away 8 is going to be 7, 9, 9, 2. If a child gets confused with this number, just show them the um, uh, number lines um, and they should get familiar with that. But hopefully with more numbers, they should get familiar with that. And then moving on to the next page, which is page 30. Um, so a lot of them is a repetition, so I'm not going to keep repeating them. Uh, question two, one should be straightforward. Question two, product of 850 times 4 has how many zeros? So again, you can work that out. Question C, 205 times 2, work that out, and so on and so forth, and work that one out. Then after the answer, times it by 5, then after the answer, take away 1095, and then when, when you got the answer, then times that by 4, so you do one step at a time. If the product of something times 5 ends with 1 zero, the number in the box has to be what well if it ends if the product of two ends with one zero number has to be what so if we had zero at the end that 20 times 5 is 100 so it can't be zero at the end the only other way to get a a, a zero at the end would be what Okay, so the only other way to do that is what? 5 times. Um, okay, so 5 times, so we need to get to. Um, could be. Right, so there are a lot of possibilities here. It looks like it has two at the time. End would be two times five, which is zero. Um, so it could have been a two, uh, which would be 110. So it could be two, it could even be four. Four times five is 20. And then um, five times two plus a two. So that could be 120. So it looks like a lot of possibilities. Um, again, it's a very strange question. Question three, read each question carefully and work out the answers. Um, which one shall we do? Let's do this 3B. Charlie's rope is 250 centimeters long. Dylan has a lo longer rope. It is four times the length of Charlie's rope. So it's longer and it's four times. So four times 250. How long is the rope? And th that will be the answer. And you can change that to meters if you want to, which is by, just by dividing it by 800. And then level B. Um, try it out first and then fill in the brackets. Uh, runs how many meters in thingy? So there's different options. You can put what numbers you feel are appropriate, but I wouldn't worry too much about those kind of practical uh, elements. They are optional. And then the last one in this section is practice exercise one. Um, again, should be just a repetition. So these should be straightforward. 500 times 6 is the same as 6 times 5 is 30, then added another two zeros. Um, column methods, we've done some of these already. Uh, question four, work these ones out. Steps in a calculation again for one of them 1570, take away five times 3314. Remember, you do times first, five times 314, work that one out first, and 1570, take away that you know, times and division come first, and then after that, plus and take away. Um, and then question five, write greater than or less than or equal to. Um, so you should be able to work those ones out. Uh, shall we do one of them? Okay, 16 times 2 plus 16 times 3 plus 16 times 4. Because they're all 16 times, then you can do 6. That's the same as 16 times. And then it's 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is going to be 9. So those are going to be equal. And then question 7. Um, length of a grasshopper is 8 centimeters, and it can jump 16 times its length. So how far you can jump? 8 times 16. And so move on to page 8. Uh, sorry, question 8, page 34. How much do two bicycles of one pair of, car, of 
train is cost are two times the 128 and then we just have to add uh, 56 to that and you can think of some of the questions and do that um, level B is a much more difficult um, okay this one ends in two zeros so this one has one zero at the end and one in the middle okay I'll respect the last four digits of the number place in the three cards calculate the last four numbers of the number place and write them in the spaces below the three cards so the 502 times 4 you work the answer out and the last four digits of the number plays the three cards below okay fine so whatever the answer you get 502 times 4 which is going to be what 5 times 4 is 20 so it's going to be 500 so that's going to be 2000 2008 um so it's going to be 2008 so, okay so those are the last three digits and and then you work out which one's which this one ends in two zeros so get those numbers and you can see which one fits where it seems fairly reasonable um, and that will end this unit it's been quite a long unit i believe and uh, please do share and subscribe and place your like and comments below thank you